Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. Till now, we have seen how to create a subflow by using the option called subflows from here. All right. But right now, we will learn how to run the subflow. If you see over here, I have created a subflow and I'm also having the main flow over here. If you observe, whenever I'm going to run the main flow, if you want to run the particular step onwards, then what you will do, you will right click on the action and then you will use done from here option to run the flow from the particular step, right? Do we have the same kind of thing over here to run the uh, subflows? If you see over here, when you right click on the particular action inside the subflow, you don't get the option run from here because of you can't run directly the subflow from the particular action. In that case, how can we go ahead and run the subflow? There is one action called run subflow is available flow under flow control actions. Let's expand the flow control and there you will find run subflow. Let's drag and drop this action onto the workspace. I'm going to drag and drop this action inside the for each because of I want to run the flow continuously, right? So that for each and every row inside the Excel, it is calling the database and then it will execute the SQL statement. If you see the properties of run subflow, I'm having single parameter that is run subflow. Which subflow it has to execute or it has to run whenever you are going to call the action called run subflow. Let's drop down this and there you will find database subflow. Select that and then let's click on save. Now, if you see over here, even over here, whenever you are going to select the action from here, you can't find the option run from here because of this action is available inside the for each. For and suppose if I'm going to use outside of the for each, in that case, this option is available to run the flow. Now let's drag and drop this run subflow action outside of the for each loop. And then if I'm going to select it once again, and there you will find run from here. From here also, you can run the flow. All right, now we'll get an error from here because of the data is going to be getting from the Excel. You can't directly run the subflow over here. All right. Now, if you want to run directly, let me make some changes over here. Let's switch to database underscore flow. And over here, I'm going to make some changes over here inside the execute SQL statement. I'm going to give hard coding these values over here as Amir. And then I'm going to give the salary as 20,000. One, I'm going to give it. And then I'm going to save the flow or the saving the action execute SQL statement by clicking on save. Now, in this case, we're not going to be passed any data from one flow to another flow so that we can run the flow directly. We are, because of, we are going to hard coded the values over here. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's run the subflow by clicking on right click on the run subflow and then run from here. Subflow has been started executing. The subflow has been executed successfully. If you observe in the database, if I go ahead and execute it, you will find the lost record as 2031 with the name of Amir and the salary 20,001. It's a salary INR I have given it. All right. This is how we are going to run a subflow to know the status of the subflow is executing successfully or not. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.